We place the object between f and lens. It means the distance from the object to the lens less than focal length. So for the image of this object, we need at least two beam of ray. The first ray parallel with the axis, pass the object and hit the lens. After it hit the lens, it passed through point F in the back of the lens. That's for the first ray. The second ray, pass the object, go to center of the lens. After it hit the center of the lens, it continue go straight. Two ray in the back of the lens cannot cut together because it further and further. So we extended the ray path through the point F. In the front of the lens, we use hidden lines because it's not the beam of rays. The beam of ray we use solid line. Two lines cut in the front of the lens at this point. Connect this point 90 degree with the axis we have an image. The image in the front of the lens we have a virtual image. The distance from the image to the lens less than zero. Image and the object same direction so we have an upright image. The image bigger than object we have an enlarged image. That for conversion lens. How about the diversion lens? We place the object in the front of the diversion lens with a distance from the object to the lens less than focal length. For the image of this object, we need at least two beam of ray. The first ray parallel with the axis, pass the object, hit the lens. After it hit the lens, it spread out. If we extend this, the spread out ray, it will pass the point F in the front of the lens. In the front of the lens, we use hidden line. This one, the extended ray, not the beam of rays. The beam of ray, we use the solid line. That's for the first ray. The second ray, pass the object, go to center of the lens. After it hit the center of the lens, it continue go straight. Two ray cut together at the point in the front of the lens. Connect this point 90 degree with the axis. We have an image. Image in the front of the lens. So we have virtual image. Image and the object same direction. We have an upright image. The image smaller than object we have reduced the image. So, if we place the object in the front of the lens with a distance from the object to the lens less than focal length, for conversion lens, we receive the virtual, upright, and locked image. For diversion lens, we receive virtual, upright, reduce the image. For diversion lens, Easy to remember, we only way receive virtual, upright, and reduce the image. And how small the image? We need to use the formula M equal minus DI divided by DO. For the conversion length, we need to summarize. Now we summarize about the conversion lens. This is conversion lens. Point C, the center of the curvature. Point F, the focal point. If we place the object from X to C on the green arrow, the image were produced by conversion lens real inverted reduce real the image in the back of the lens the distance from the image to the lens greater than zero inverted object and the image opposite direction reduce 
image smaller than object if we place the object at point C conversion lens produce the image real inverted same size real the image in the back of the lens the distance from the image to the lens greater than zero inverted object and the image opposite direction same size the image and the object are equal if we place the object between point C and point F conversion lens produce the image real inverted and large real image in the back of the lens the distance from the image to the lens greater than zero inverted object and the image opposite direction and large image bigger than object if we place the object at the point F conversion lens produce the image real inverted and large at infinity real the image in the back of the lens the distance from the image to the lens greater than zero inverted object and the image opposite direction and large image bigger than object at infinity the image will produce at infinity in the back of the lens this is for position the conversion lens produce the real image real image only way you go with inverted real image inverted real image inverted real image inverted and real image inverted for position by order smaller same size locker and super lock next if we place the object between point f and the lens the lens produce the image virtual upright and large virtual the image in the front of the lens the distance from the image to the lens less than zero upright object and the image same direction and large the image bigger than object that all information the conversion lens we place the object in the front of the lens with special position we done this problem you can share with your friends see you next time thank you bye